John Kruger, and I'm a physical science technician with this earthquake hazard school. So. This here is uh, an example of one of our stations here that's in these pictures here. It's an analog station. So, you'd have this, uh, this is a one component vertical seismometer that's buried in the ground, and it picks up any seismic activity sends it on a signal to this electronics package here. There is a voltage control oscillator, so it amplifies the signal. And then that goes from there to this radio and shot out an uh, RF antenna. And then, so you, you can hear it when, the, when it's nice and quiet next to the signal, uh, nice next to the site, you can hear just a smooth signal, but when there's seismicity, it gets modulated, and you can see it on the sine wave there, and hear it on the radio here, and uh, and that's that's the data being sent back. And then you have demodulators on the other side that turn it into um, the screen here. These are, are the uh, data from a seismometer like this that's on. Those are all across the state, and uh, they constantly send data in like that, so we monitor. So if there was an earthquake right now, you would see it on that screen. That's actually hooked up to our system. So, yeah, it runs off solar and then a battery in the evening when the sun goes down, the solar charges it. So it's a pretty maintenance-free site, and it can be remote. You know, we don't require AC power or anything like that. So we use uh, like this radio here uh, to get our data back. We also use uh, airfakes. Uh, if we're close to a telephone pole, we can have the company go put a box there, and then we can put our signal on a tone like this that we're listening to, and then it sends its data back via phone line. We use satellite, cell phone modem, microwave. So, and now we're experimenting with the internet over there with the Netflix. So we see here is uh, damage to our equipment from anything from forest fires here that have fried up these cables to this sensor and this sensor both were flooded. Um, lightning strikes will zap your electronics sometimes. Uh, our analog stuff is not grounded. Our digital equipment is all grounded um, for lightning protection. Um, you get people who find it entertaining to go out and take their 22 and shoot holes in your solar panels or your um, antennas. Um, you know, you've got gophers and cows and bears out there and they all think that this stuff's tasty to chew on sometimes. Um, so basically when a site goes out, uh, all we know is that our site's out when it's an analog station, and so we have to be prepared to fix anything, uh, you know, from a fried cable to a fried circuit, so. If we're not putting in sites, we're constantly going out. We have over 300 seismometers, and so, um, it, if nothing happens to the seismometer, the site, and it's just running beautifully, sometimes you don't have to go out there for five years. And that's what we like. Um, some seismometers, for whatever reason, our sites um, are more problematic than others, and you have to go out there more frequently. I uh, know one site um, just over the hill at Peters Creek across Skyline. Um, I've had to go out to it three times in the last year. Um, for whatever various reasons. So.